All right, here's the finished product of rewiring my little cyber quad. Um, originally, I was uh, trying to use these back here, high, low, and the power button. Um, couldn't really get to work. This is like a momentary deal. This was just the two speed. So what I ended up doing was, ended up using the forward reverse button. Uh, this controller doesn't have a reverse that I know of. So I got it wired up and basically turned it on there. And there's my uh, tail light. There's my headlight. And there it goes. What I did was I ended up mounting the controller kind of where the other one was. Right here, mounted with some Velcro. Here's to the motor. Um, here's my wiring to my lights there. And then what I had to do was use this uh, little pigtail here. Went and bought this little connector from my auto parts store. Basically runs down and runs into the battery. And what I have to do is unplug it here, uh, slide the whole battery assembly out with this plug hooked to it, and I can charge it just like it was. Uh, previously, when you slide it in, there was a fixed connector that slid right in here and actually screwed down. Can't use that anymore because that actually went with the old speed controller. So, um, got that in there. Got it all wired up. Um, I need to make the seat removable to get to the plugs. So I put a little Velcro there. And uh, put a little bit of Velcro right here. You can see. And now the seat kind of just goes on just like it would in a four-wheeler. And... Just right down. It's ready to ride. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description or a link in the comments uh, for the speed controller. It's not hard to wire up. Just uh, take your time and um, trying to chase the wires back, and you should be able to figure it out no problem. All right.